Should I buy or sell SQQQ? The report for SQQQ was first published on our website Monday, March 27, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since March 14, 2023, our system ranks SQQQ as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.950. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 11.88%. This is an average return of minus 1.19% per day since first recommended. The ETF lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible minus 32.11% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 37.36% and minus 18.33%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 9.55% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 31.65% and 67.37%. This equals a price between $22.56 and $55.25 after a year. In our daily updates for SQQQ our last headline reads, SQQQ ETF upgraded to sell candidate. The SQQQ ETF price gained 2.07% on the last trading day, Monday, March 27, 2023, rising from $32.34 to $33.01. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 4.71% from a day low at $31.79 to a day high of $33.29. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 17.87% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 39 million shares and in total, 109 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $3.60 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $69.55, and the lowest price was $30.98. Right now the price is 52.54%, or $36.54, below 52-week high and 95.92%, or $775.46, below all-time high March 12, 2020 where the price hit $808.47. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets The following signals have been found for SQQQ. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, March 24, 2023, and so far it has risen 2.07%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The ETF should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The SQQQ ETF holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $33.33 and $36.45. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the 3 month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence sell signal. Pivots by signal 2 days ago. Bollinger by signal 6 days ago. Short term moving average sell signal 11 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 7 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 11 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 54 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 49 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for SQQQ 
SQQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $32.74 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This ETF may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this ETF is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the ETF moved $1.50 between high and low, or 4.71%. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 6.05%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, SQQQ meets first resistance at $39.13. If you do not hold SQQQ shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn SQQQ finds first level of support at $32.74 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. We hold a negative evaluation for this ETF, no stop loss set. Is SQQQ ETF a buy? SQQQ holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this ETF. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a strong sell to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Tuesday 28th we expect SQQQ to open down dash dollar 0.313 and start trading at $32.70. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.